G'day guys, it's Matt here from XTAC. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing for the Cold Steel Recon Scout knife. I have one of these knives, these are absolutely awesome. So first up, it comes in your standard Cold Steel box with a bit of specs on the front. Let's have a look inside. So it comes in a nice, secure sheath. Something Cold Steel is really well known for is a good quality sheath with plenty of cutouts wrapping around. So mounting options are a plenty whether you're wearing it on the belt standard style or attaching this to a backpack, it gives you plenty of options. So this is the knife. These are an O1 tool steel. They're a seven and a half inch blade. It's a nice clipped point bowie knife shape. They've put a, a Teflon coating on the blade steel because it is a tool steel. So at the end of the day, it is prone to a little bit of rust if you don't look after it. So that's just gonna help keep that at bay. It feels fantastic in hand. I'm probably a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Biased here. I actually own one of these knives. This thing's fantastic. This is one of the first proper fixed blades that I ever bought as a bit of a utility knife. This thing is incredibly strong. This is the upgraded version that they're doing in the O1 tool steel. The older models used to be done in an SK5 carbon steel. So it's nice to see that cold steel over time are improving their steels and going to something a little bit better. So these have got a nice rubber over molded handle. These are a full tang knife but it's more of a hidden tang style. So you still have a nice thick wide tang going through the handle, but it's just not exposed that you can see. They incorporate a lanyard hole on the back. You can put a lanyard on there and, and wrap that around, have a little bit of extra security. Still got plenty of belly at the front. So if you were using it skinning, it'd be great as a hunting knife. Still more than enough blade that if you're gonna use it for a sticker, you can still get the job done. And it's nice that they've got the hilt there. That's just gonna give you a bit of protection knowing your hand is not gonna slide up on this blade. A nice feature of this knife is the incredibly thick spine on this blade. You can see this thing's a workhorse. This is made for chopping and all those hard use chores you're gonna have around campsite. So I thought we'd head outside and see how this guy chops. We're outdoors on this beautiful sunny day. We'll give it a couple of light little chops first. So as you can hear, this wood is really dry and hard. I'm giving it a, a bit of a light chop. I'm getting into it a little bit, and you can see it's doing a decent enough job of starting to get through this wood. I'll give it a little bit harder, and we'll see what we can get, get coming out of this thing. So as you can see, guys, this thing chops really good. This would be a good piece of kit to take with you if you wanted to try and strip down the amount of gear you take outside. So if you didn't want to take an axe, this definitely will do the jobs of an axe as well as being a knife, helping you shrink down what you're carrying with you and, and drop some weight. But as you can see, this thing performs really well. It's a strong chopper for its size. And it's gonna be very handy around the campsite. Overall, I'm really happy with this knife. It's a model I personally own, so I have nothing but good things to say about this knife. If you'd like to check this knife out or purchase, you can go to the website at xtac.com.au or you can click the link below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.